What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. Tell me showing you guys Nike Dunk Low, Montreal Bagel, and the Sesame Colorway. Now before I get into the video, I just wanna say thank you guys for all the support. Uh, we finally have it here today. Now these did officially drop today in the States and on sneakers, but they actually dropped on January 13th, I wanna say. Now rumor has it, you know, New Jersey has the best bagels ever, but um, Montreal is claiming that title now. And with that being said, we have the shoe. Now the creator behind this shoe, um, his name is originally Philippe, but his Instagram handle is Sean Champion. So I'm gonna show you guys that real quick. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Bonjour, c'est Philippe, aka Chien Champion. J'adore. I'm also gonna show you guys some B-roll of what he looks like and things like that. But these did officially come out over there um, at Off The Hook Boutique. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what it looked like outside. It even looked like it was snowing over there. So shout out to the real sneakerheads over there waiting to camp out and get these shoes. Now, um, as you guys can see through these pictures and videos, um, actually I was not there, but if you guys know me, you know I want the experience. I want everything that comes with the box. I want everything that come with the box. I want all the, you know, bags, the menus and all that type of things. As you guys see in these pictures as well, they actually had some bagels with all the writing and everything like that on it. Um, so pretty dope right there. You also see the tote bag that it came with. Now, with that being said, this is kind of similar to how the Orange Lobsters dropped. You know, first they came out at the actual store or, you know, where it was going to be at. And then they officially dropped it on sneakers and that's what happened today now with that being said as you guys see right here i have the normal box and the only way to get that box was to be in actual montreal uh canada so um that's the story on that now there is a little bit of price differences in the boxes as you guys see one is going for like 160 the other one's going for about 180. now if you do buy it online same thing with the lobsters you're probably not going to get the menu so you probably won't get the tote bag but you will get the box and the shoe i don't think you're actually going to get the tote bag that it comes with it same thing if you got the um orange lobster off you know the secondary market i don't believe that it came with the menu but um let me know if you guys do actually get the tote bag and things like that i might be interested in purchasing but uh Let's get right into it, guys. So open up the top of the box here. Okay, we do get a stamp on the inside of the box. All right, and uh, just a normal box once again. These did come out over here for 120. All right, take out these nice shoes. I wish I would have had the special box for you guys, but you know, it is what it is. Um, some boutiques over here did get these pairs and that's how I was able to get mine today. And uh, taking out this shoe right here, it's just a really nice shoe. The quality on this shoe is A1 on the top panels of the shoe. We get the sesame seeds all on it. And when you guys feel on it, you can actually feel the raised up material, which is really nice. And they actually do mimic like some real sesame seeds, which is pretty cool. And I will say in the color scheme, if you guys look at the actual shoe, it does really look like a bagel. You know what I mean? With the cream cheese right there being the laces and the tongue. So really nice design behind the shoe. I really do like this shoe, but let's get right into it, guys. On the bottom of the shoe here, we get this translucent outsole with a Nike and a swoosh right there in the middle. Coming towards the midsole slash outsole of the shoe right here, we get this white with some white stitching. Same thing on the inside right there. Pretty dope in my opinion. All right. Coming up towards the base of the shoe, as you guys see in the middle panels, we get this really nice leather on this material. They are calling this shoe PRM, which means premium, and we are getting these really nice materials and raised up materials on the shoe. And I really do like that about this shoe a lot. This shoe is standing up to its name, in my opinion. All right, if you guys look at the swoosh right there, we get that blue swoosh, okay? And then on the, on the, and then on the top panels, once again, we get that sesame seed, and the background is in like that beige color, which is a, a little bit darker than you see on the background of the middle panel and on the toe box and a little bit higher than the ankle area. Pretty nice on the outside of the shoe. I don't really see any stitching errors or anything like that on mine. I do see a little bit of glue stains though, I will say, but you know, nothing too crazy. Same thing on the inside of the shoe right here, we get that blue swoosh. And as you guys know, right before it goes into that other panel, we get the other color, which is on the top panel in that netting right there and the stitching right there. So pretty dope in my opinion. But other than that, these shoes feel really nice. The quality on this is really good. I'm really happy with this purchase that I made today. Um, looking at the toe box here, these will crease up pretty easily, but as you guys can see, when I'm pushing down on this, you know, this is some really good quality. You can really see how stiff it is. And you know, these are gonna really hold up, in my opinion, a lot better than a normal Nike Dunk Low. But put some wearable shoe trees in these if you want them looking nice at all times. Looking at the mud guard here, as you guys can see as well, we get that raised up material on the sesame seeds. We get the gum bottom creeping up from the bottom of the shoe, and then we get a little bit more white with some white stitching. Now we do only get one pair of laces in these once again, and they come in the white laces, kind of like an off-whitish, if you really look at it and tilt it in different lighting. Uh, we do get this white leather tongue, which is really nice. I'm gonna show you guys that white leather tongue is really nice. The material on these is really, really good. But if you guys look all the way at the bottom of the tongue, right before it actually gets to the tongue, back to the toe box, we don't get the peak on the toe box at the bottom but we do get it right before it gets onto the tongue in the middle i'm gonna show you guys a little bit of differences between a regular one and what i got right here but you know i just want to point that out to you guys um but it is like a sesame seed right there mimicking like a peak if you guys look at that on both shoes i don't know if that's supposed to be a peak but you know i just want to point that out to you guys all right at the top of the tongue here it does say nike air and white 
all right and the background that is white as well on the back of the tongue it tells us where the shoe is from and things like that but since it is white on white you can't really tell what it says we do get some tissue inserts on these and the inside of the sock lining is on white material as well Okay, coming on to the actual insole of the shoe, which is pretty nice. If you guys haven't been to a pizzeria or a bagel shop, sometimes they use brick or wood stoves or brick or wood ovens. Insoles are not the same. They are a little bit different. I don't know if that's going to be how they are on all pairs, but um, they are different. As you guys can see, one is a little bit darker than the other. And that comes from, you know, just how regular wood is made or the stain that you might want on, you know, the wood of your purchase. But just want to show you guys that. All right, now we do get the sizing sticker at the top there, and then we do get the Nike with the swoosh under it. Now in the camera, it may look black, but it is like a very dark gray. So I just want to point that out to you guys. Under the actual insole, this is the cheap insole. So, you know, it does have the gray under it. So I'm gonna show you guys that, okay. Under the actual insoles, inside the shoe, it is white, and then we get some red stitching. I'll show you guys the inside right there. Okay, now the production dates on this was 04-12-22 to 06-20-22. Once again, this is the regular pair and this is the pair that came out in the States. We don't get the special box, so it comes with the regular box, um, but you can purchase the special pair box on the aftermarket. You know what I mean? Um, just in case, once again, if you guys missed that part in the video, coming towards the back of the shoes, as you guys see at the top of the back of the shoes, it's in blue. And then we get the Nike right there in white, a little bit lower than that. We get some more of that beige coloring and like a light beige. Going down a little bit further, we have a little bit more of a darker beige. And then we get the sesame seeds on top of that i'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box right now okay guys so this is what they look like on feet pretty clean in my opinion now i'm a true size nine i'm gonna get nine and a half in all my shoes but with nike dunk lows air jordan one lows and air force ones i like to go true to size you could possibly even go down half a size on air force ones because of how big they run but i'm gonna show you guys my foot is in a toe box right here so i'm working around but if you guys cannot tell my big toe is right here so i have a little bit of space to push down from the top as you guys can see but if i push down from the front of the shoe i have a little bit of space in there as well now in my opinion you know um nike dunk lows do run a little bit narrow towards the front as you guys see the way it comes down but then when it goes towards the back here it does have a little bit of slippage so if you have a wider foot or need a little bit of extra space you might want to go up half a size because i do feel this material on the outside of my foot as you guys see i have a little bit of space right there see how it's moving in a little bit but i still do feel this material on my foot but on the inside you can see that it's not budging at all that is my foot on this material so you know true to size um is the way to go you know if you you know uh like to wear your shoes you know unlaced don't go up half a size but um, if you'd like to wear them laced up, you know, you can go up half a size, if that makes sense. Um, this is what I normally like to wear. my. This is normally how I like to wear my shoes, unlaced right here. And it has a little bit of slippage towards the back, as you guys can see. And that's normal, you know what I mean? If you go down half a size, the shoe is going to be too tight. So I feel like true to size is the way to go. If you go up half a size, it's going to be too big. And if you like to wear your shoes unlaced, you won't be able to, you know, wear them because you'll have too much slippage. But, you know, you have a little bit of slippage on this size 9, but it's not, you know, something that you can't do without. Now, with that being said, as you guys can see on the left right here this is how the shoe looks tied and it's not even that tight and you guys can see i don't have any slippage on that at all and that you know what i mean and this is a pretty loose you know tie right here but um other than that they're pretty nice on feet and i'm gonna show you guys what these look like with some different pants options right now okay guys so i hope you guys like this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe show your boy some love and stay tuned